All right. Hey, so I wanted to shoot a quick video about something that I've been inspired about recently that I think pretty much anyone can relate to. So have you seen my Facebook or our Instagram or YouTube channel or website? They're pretty much designed to make it look like we're living the best lives ever. And don't get me wrong, we do live pretty great lives that I'm super grateful for. But what we don't show as much is the downsides. So the other day I began to think about it and I actually started to feel kind of guilty in the idea that I may be indirectly responsible for making other people feel like their life sucks. And I do believe that we mostly inspire because that's our goal and we receive emails of every day of people telling us that. But I think there's a flip side to it as well where you may think it's all rainbows and backflips, but there's much more to the story and that's what I want to talk about. How many times has someone asked you, hey, how's it going? You say good, even though everything's not. It happens to me several times a week. And yeah, a lot of times we don't feel like getting into our life story at the grocery checkout line. But the point is, is that our society lives in a constant state of performance mode, striving to make our lives appear better off than they actually are. Take Facebook, for example. Typically, we post pictures of ourselves smiling while we're on vacation or having good times with friends. Rarely do we, or I know rarely do I, make depressing status updates about how I'm feeling lonely or something I'm ashamed or insecure about. And I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that this gives people the illusion that our lives are better off than they actually are and makes them feel as though theirs doesn't match up. And no, I'm not necessarily encouraging making pessimistic posts on Facebook, but this is just an example of how our, cultural, how our culture rewards those who are pretending that their lives are great all the time when they're actually not, but in the meanwhile it results in us missing out on something much more meaningful and intimate. We are scared of showing our vulnerability, which results in a lack of having and receiving empathy from others. I have issues and crap I deal with on a daily basis. There are even times I'd say I feel slightly depressed. And it's not often, but yeah, every once in a while I cry. I've been crying on and off for the past few days trying to work through some stuff, man. We all have issues and extreme low points, but nobody admits it. I mean, that's a bit of an overgeneralization, but you get the point. You know, it's not easy to show this side of myself, because I want to look manly and masculine and not look weak, but we advertise ourselves as being real and authentic, so it would be dishonest not to. I get paid to travel around the world to amazing places. It's my job to be healthy, fit, and inspire others. I have an amazing family. By most people's standards, that's a pretty great life, and it is. But I'm telling you that even I and my brothers still have issues constantly. As ego-destroying as making this video is, I have hopes that it'll inspire others to feel that they're not the only crazy ones, and just the opposite, and that what's most personal is most universal. This is what the Honesty Workshops at our retreats is all about. We create a context where people are being encouraged to be completely open and transparent about themselves and their thoughts of others. At all of our retreats, this has created a very consistent theme. That is, it builds relationships that are so real and so true that you begin to experience what it's like to fully know and to be fully known, all built on authentic communication. It almost makes other relationships that are full of surfacy and shallowness seem to lack soul and it's just boring. Try an experiment and tell someone you're close with, in person, something that's been bothering you that you normally wouldn't. Pick something really hard, maybe even embarrassing. Share something that you think may even make them like you less. I have a feeling you'll be surprised by their reaction, what it does to you and your relationship with that person. I'm gonna end this video with a quote that really resonates with me. I forget who it's by, so I'll put his name in the description box below. It goes like this. When we reveal more, we have less to hide. When we have less to hide, we're less worried about being found out. When we're less worried about being found out, we can pay better attention to someone else. This is where true intimacy exists.